guys, it's Carter. Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we are going to be talking about how to make over a thousand dollars every single week when it comes to swing trading in the stock market. So I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you guys do, hit that like button and subscribe. Now if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Carter. I've been a full-time swing trader for over six years in the stock market and we do have an amazing school where we talk about my strategies, my mindset, how I find stock. It's absolutely fantastic. It's literally where we break down everything about swing trading. There's live streams, there's quizzes, there's lectures. It's absolutely fantastic. You guys can use code YouTube to get 20% off. So check it out down below, click that link and I'll see you in there. But guys, let's dive into this. Let's go. So when it comes to swing trading in the stock market, a lot of people have this misconception that it's an easy way to get rich quick. And the reason why people think that is because brokers make it so easy to start buying stocks. Literally, you can sign up with Robinhood and start buying buying stocks literally today. Now, as a beginner, this is a good thing because it helps you get the ball started, but honestly, it's not the greatest because you're just buying random companies, you have no risk management skills. So starting out, if you guys are brand new to swing trading, the first thing I would recommend doing is making sure, one, you really invest into education. Focus on learning. The more you learn, the more you're going to earn. And paper trade. Use simulated money to develop a plan, a strategy, and a mindset so you can make money. And I already can hear the comments saying, Carter, if you paper trade, there's no emotion involved. Yes, but starting out, you need to focus on a strategy, your entries, your exits, your risk management, then focus on your emotions. After you paper trade, do a one share challenge where you only trade one share of the stock with a funded account so you can see how you do with real capital. So I just wanted to be completely upfront about that, invest in that education. Don't forget to check out my course, check it out. But guys, let's turn to the computer and look at my strategy. All right, so when it comes to swing trading, like I said, paper trading is by far the best thing to get started. Now the broker I use for all of my trading is Moomoo. They're absolutely fantastic and they offer paper trading, great charting and scanning. Now, this was the stock that we recently traded here that we are still in on. This is ticker symbol WFRD. Now, one of the more important things when it comes to swing trading, in my opinion, is trends. I love looking for a stock that is on some sort of upward trend that is sold off down to some level of support. Now, the support, what could it be? It could be moving out Average lines. It could be price lines. It could be indicators that pretty much determine that it's undervalued. So looking at WFRD, you guys know we called this out in our group chat earlier this week. Now this stock here, as we look at it, it, it sees a lot of tendencies of getting buying pressure at about $83. Watch it, right? It comes in contact once, twice, and as we continue to go through again, three times, and then recently four times. So four times establishing very, very hard support at that line, at that price. Now, on top of that, we have this red line. Now, this red line is what we call a 200-day moving average line. When the stock is above it like it is up here, we see tendencies of it using it as support. So it comes in contact and we get buying pressure. So as we continue to scroll out, you guys will see that it's used it as support in the past. So we know there's a lot higher of a chance that we'll get buying pressure at that price. So now another indicator we use is something called the RSI line. The RSI stands for the Relative Strength Index. It pretty much determines if the stock's overvalued or undervalued. Now looking at it down in here, you guys will see that it was trading for about a 26 to 25, right? You guys will see. The last time it was trading in that, you know, in that uh, zone was all the way back in here where we had this great move at that $83 mark. As we continue to go through and look at more instances where it was trading for a low, you know, for around 26 was right in here where we had this move. So this was an absolute fantastic trade. We understood that it has that heavy support there. We hopped in at 84 and we're continuing to hold. Now with this, yes, we'll most likely start getting some selling pressure here and obviously we'll start taking profit soon. But one of the things that I do is a uh, trailing stop loss. A trailing stop loss is pretty much when the stock 
uh, is climbing up and you're just moving that stop loss up to catch it higher and higher and higher and higher. As you know, the stock continues to go up, you just move your stop loss up a little bit. It's a great way to minimize risk, but still catch these stocks that are moving and grooving. So as of right now, our stop loss is going to be near and around $85 or $95 a share, which is about a $10 per share return, which is absolutely fantastic. And this is a very, very basic strategy that I would recommend for all types of traders, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or expert. So guys, I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you guys did, hit that like button, subscribe. Don't forget to use code YouTube to get 20% off. We'll see you guys later. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.